It's Friday night, and that means it's time for... Well, it's Friday Follies. A radical priest tries to rehab Farrakhan. A panel of Democrats fight over 2020, and one dad you want to avoid in the field. Joining us now with all the details, Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor, of course, Will Wilder, author. Raymond, I thought after Farrakhan was banned from Facebook that, I don't know, his days in the spotlight might be coming to an end, but now a Catholic priest is trying to resurrect him. Laura, it's simply unbelievable. Chicago priest Father Michael Flager, a leftist activist, oh, which God, we'll get into him. in a moment. Yeah, he invited oh. the controversial Nation of Islam leader to speak at his Chicago parish yesterday. The oh. reason, he wants Farrakhan back on Facebook. Watch. <laughs> Minister Farrakhan has been a bold voice against injustice done against black people in this country. His voice deserves and needs to be heard. To underscore the point, Flager broadcast Louis Farrakhan's visit from his parish on oh Facebook, God. flouting their ban, even though Farrakhan was banned from the social media site, in part because of his allegedly anti-Semitic speech. To the white people who think I'm a hater, you don't know me. But somebody made you hate me. This is just the beginning, banning me from a social platform. I use that platform with respect. And I'm here to separate the good Jews from the satanic Jews. Laura, this man, he's out of his know. mind. And and for Flager to think that this oh. is appropriate or in any way social justice to bring a man like this spouting hatred and anti-Semitism to a Catholic church, frankly, it's amazing to what? me that the Chicago I, Archdiocese hasn't intervened here, Laura. I, I, Outrageous. I, I, Flager has been doing this nonsense, this type of stuff, Raymond, for yep. years, and yet... The Vatican looks the other way. There's no comment. He, the, Flager has been a, a, a nightmare, frankly, for a lot of Catholics in the Chicago area and, mm. and frankly, across the country for a long, long time. I, I, well, we, should have, we should have brought Flager on our, our Facebook panel that we had a few minutes ago. Well, maybe next time. Him Laura, he, here's the thing. He, at one point, Flager said, America is the greatest sin. It's the greatest sin against God. And he called for what? a gun owner who owned a shop. He asked people to snuff out the owner of the gun shop. I mean, now the president of the Illinois Holocaust Museum, Fritzi Fritzel, herself a survivor of the Holocaust, said today, quote, I don't understand Father Flager because I've always thought he was one for peace. Oh, what he's doing today and what he's doing with Farrakhan is giving him a platform for hatred. Hatred he has spoken for many, many years. Laura, this is just the beginning of this, and, and hopefully it's not the last we hear of people speaking out against this kind of hatred, but Flager should be ashamed of himself. All right, tell us about this CNN panel. What, else, what, what happened oh, yeah. there? Well, speaking of unexpected reactions, CNN gathered a panel of Democrats in Pennsylvania to try to get a pulse on how Democrats are feeling going into 2020. Then came the ultimate question. How many of you feel confident today that a Democrat will win in 2020. Hmm. <laughs> later, a fight broke out. It was crickets, Laura. They were, only two of them raised their hand. Well, later, a fight oh, broke no. out over the gender of the Democratic nominee or what it should be. What? I still don't know if the country's ready for a woman. We want to think they are, but I'm not convinced. But that's the thing. That, going to uh, be that, ready. You know, we had to make it ready. It's time for a woman to run this yes. country. Yes. Why not? Yes, yes. I want a woman president more than anything else in this world. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be the first woman president. <laughs> That's nice. Well, uh, first of all, I, I, what, what I'm still trying to get over is Alison Camerata saying this, Raymond, after only two or three people raised hands about whether they're yeah. confident. Hmm. <laughs> who did the wait wait who picked the composition of this panel what producer yeah. well, is going to get the well, boot because of this embarrassing cnn but laura you saw something very illustrative there you are seeing a glimpse of 2020 in the democratic party at the moment they lack unity there is no clear governing agenda or something to rally them no, together the -Trump. except That's hatred of trump that's it. But what you see, what you're seeing, and what I think you're going to see more of, 
is a collapse into gender and, and uh, identity oh. politics that could rip them apart. And really, th th they could have be a multi-headed hydra going into 2020 and pave the way for Donald Trump. No, okay. Now, Laura, they're, they're I, now, a mess. We've been having some very bad weather down here in Louisiana, where I am now. And the other day, a local reporter, Lester Due, decided to use a prop to show how high the water was. He decided to use a crawfish. Bad choice. And a number of people are actually here looking for crawfish. Okay, just got me actually on TV. Okay, well, that hurt. <laughs> Laura, if the only good kind of crawfish is one that's been boiled when you snap its head off. That's it. That's the well, only kind that you Raymond, should play I thought it was going to be like the other day when that man rung the doorbell and then the snake, oh, the snake bit him. Bit him this the... was sold to me as a crawfish fish biting a nose. Like, I wanted the no, nose No, no, just bit, a finger. Not just a just finger. A that's finger. Not, what is yeah. that getting us? The finger. It is. We want the whole well, Laura, nose taken off, okay? No, not really. It's just funnier no, that No, no, no. Laura, I have a big book signing here in New Orleans before I go tomorrow, Saturday, at Octavia Books Uptown, 3 p.m. I'll be Woo! signing copies of the Will Wilder series. So, everybody come out and see me. RaymondArroyo.com. Details are there. See you next week. All right, Raymond. We'll see you next week.